Hello, welcome. How's it going? My name's Steve and I'm going to teach you some rhythms on the drum set. You're in my wonderful studio here, the Bunker Drum Studio. And yes, that is a light bulb. Okay. Now, I was taught by this gentleman, Mr. Keith Copeland, amazing drummer. This is his book. I recommend you buy it. Creative Coordination for the Performing Drummer. I will be teaching a lot of stuff from this book in this little video series. So I'm going to take little things, basic, break them down, show you them and, you know, slowly and maybe explain little things that Keith showed me because I was lucky enough to study with him and little things that aren't in the book as well. OK, so let's get right to it. Jazz drumming. We're going to start with the swing tradition, OK? What is swing? I could take an hour to tell you that, but let's just look at a rhythm that Keith taught me that gets you into this swing thing. So it starts off, we're playing the ride cymbal and the hi-hat. The ride cymbal, four beats. We're in a 4-4 four, four bar, so four crotchet beats on the ride. One, two, three, four. To straight crotchets, hi-hats are on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very easy. Bass drum is on all four beats with the ride cymbal in unison. And then I play a rhythm on the snare drum, which I'll explain in detail. So let's get to it. Here we go. So we got the ride cymbal on all four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hi hats from two and four. One, two, three, four. Bass drum on every beat. All four to the floor. Two, three. And then I've got this snare rhythm. Okay. So what am I doing on the snare? I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I am playing crotchet triplets. So we play the straight crotchets and the cymbal, and then we play the crotchet triplets starting together. Bam, 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 bam. Okay? Right across the bar, four, four. So it's six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are crotchet triplets, not quiver. Okay? Bass drum still on, on the, the four beats on the floor, and the hi-hats in two and four. Not too complex yet. Yet. This time when I go to the drums, I'll play it again, but I'm going to add in a little skip beat on the cymbal. The skip beat is the spang, lang, a lang. Okay, so we've got this spang, lang, a lang. Ding, dag, a ding, whatever you want to call it. It's this swinging rhythm you hear on the right cymbal. This is very basic level stuff to get your body used to the coordination of your four limbs playing these rhythms. We can add lots to this, but let's get the foundations from the ground up. Your feet playing with the ride cymbal, playing this rhythm. Here we go. So the ride cymbal rhythm is one, triple let two, triple let three, triple let four. With the hi-hats in two and four, it sounds like this. Bass drum on every beat. You're maybe going, Steve, this is hard. This is hard. How are you doing this? I've got a hack for you. Yes, a little hack. If you're finding this ride cymbal and the snare drum pattern tricky, it's together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. And you just repeat. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Let me show you. This is the hack. If you're finding it hard, we go together, left, right, left, together. Bit faster with the hi-hat. One, two, three, four, together, left. Together. The 
on how do I get the little skip beat in. It's just another right before the first one, a little upbeat. Just listen. Together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together. So that little right, and one, and bam, bam. Now let me, I'm going to play it a little faster. You hear it a bit more. Here we go. A little more swinging. Just idea so we're just taking this rhythm you must concentrate on the sounds you're making the ride cymbal should be a strong sound the snare drums much quieter and the bass drums what we call just feathering just touching you don't want the bass and snare to be boom bam boom 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 and the cymbal to be quiet that works in rock music and other contexts but in jazz it's reversed we want the strong cymbal sound and we want the, the drums to be below that for this exercise anyway Okay, so just to go over it again, the hack is together, left, right, left, and then the little pickup note, together, left, right, left, right, 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 right. That's the pickup, ding-ga-ding. -ding. This is the swing beat that, as I say, Keith taught me, and we play it very slowly. I would advise you starting at like 40, 50 BPM, really slow, if you're using a metronome, and build it up to 60, 70, 90, 120, whatever. Just get comfortable with this beat, okay? The next thing I want to do to it is just start the snare drum in a different place. So at the minute we're starting in unison. Boom. In a triplet, you have different partials. If I start it on the second partial of the quaver triplet, trip ill, trip ill let. So more like starting it on the upbeat, whereas here we're starting it on the downbeat. Da, bam, bam, bam. I can start it on the upbeat. Do bam, bam, bam. Do bam, bam, bam. Triple, triple. It's the middle partial of the triplet. Triple. So I'm going to let you hear this. I'll play both back to back. And this is this is really today's exercise. Here we go. So once you've got comfortable with doing it with the straight ride symbol, and then eventually the pickup note, we're going to move to this. So here's the first exercise starting on the downbeat in unison. One, two, three, four. So that's starting together. I can also start on the upbeat, so. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna do two bars of each back to back. Two of the downbeat, two starting on the upbeat, and keep looping it. Have a listen. Notice there, I do a little double to loop it back. Bam bam. Gang 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 gang. Gung gang. Do gang gang. I make these strange noises with my mouth because if you can sing and imagine the sounds, you'll play them better. So, really hearing them in your head and uh, galvanizing those ideas. Okay, so this is basic swing. Floor, bass drums 4 4, hi hats 2 4. You start off with the crotchet and eventually you bring this pickup note in. And then we mess with the snare. We do the right on the beat, starting together and on the upbeat. One last thing. You can move your left hand around the snare and toms. And this starts to create a nice little dialogue. And I don't want you to take it any further for this lesson. This video series, I'm going to keep adding slowly. You can pick it up, absorb it, take it in, practice, add to it and start to develop and we'll once you get the coordination, your body will start talking about listening to the actual music and starting to memorize pieces as you're playing this and, and singing melodies as you play it. Very, very important. But let's get the coordination, the body used to it a little bit. Okay.
Listen to this exercise. So I'm going to do the same thing, two bars of each, but I'm going to move my hand around the three toms, high tom, low tom, but I'm just moving it like this, the same pattern. Instead of going, I'm going to go. So here we go. And I'm going to start this on the, the downbeat. the idea you can take this wherever you want to go use your imagination but work on that get it into your body and i'll see you on the next lesson thanks for listening <laughs>